Welcome back to my latest nine ball breakout review. Tim here to break it all down for you. Smash the like and sub to the channel. Comment down below, hit the bell notification and share with everyone you know. We gotta get this information out to the pool community. We gotta get the pool community hyped and we gotta expand it. We gotta get other people that might only be somewhat interested in pool, like fully into it. You know, it's just like anything. It's like, you know, recently, a few years ago, the, the baseball card market blew up. People that hadn't been in the hobby for a long time rushed back into it with a frenzy. Same thing with chess. And now we just need to, now we just need to do it with pool. And get people to come back that were into it before. New people to come into it that can get interested in it. How can we build that? Well, a lot of different ways. I need some of you guys to start making videos and content as well. Uh, so anyway, what am I going to do here? I got a one ball to try to... Oh, I did... I went that way with it? Okay. Huh. I think I was trying to go for the nine, and then the one ball just happened to go in, which is fine. We don't have to call shots in nine balls, so don't worry about that. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, you can't get mad about the few once-in-a-while times that you get lucky, because I'm not going to get lucky nine times in a row and run this rack out. Did I actually make one of the week? I must have. How many balls do we have left here? Six? Yeah, so... I like to make one on the break so it's realistic. It's... I don't like, I don't like to, like, play against myself. I just like to, you know, be the one at the table from start to finish. Now we got to make this ball, so this is not getting any easier. Hit this one up the rail, the four balls down here on the rail. So I'm going to try to follow it up. Get it to go up there. Yeah, I just ran into the nine ball, so it's not exactly ideal. Unless the nine ball goes in. Then it's ideal. But that was a nice shot. Now i got to try to make this four ball. I can make the dream a reality on this four ball here. Eventually. Oh, nice shot. Okay. Good speed there, too. Set up. Oh, went a little far. A little tougher shot on the six here. But yeah, the hard work is done. I mean, these other balls look somewhat doable here. Um, what do I want to get to? Probably just, probably just follow this. Just wondering because if it goes, yeah, if it goes like over there, then I guess that's fine. I'm trying to like plan out my my scheme here a little bit more. <clears throat> Trying to actually have a plan in place of not only Let me turn the light on, give myself a little extra light for this shot. It's dark down there on that side of the table. <clears throat> it's a nine foot table here. No, it doesn't look that big because I'm actually six foot seven. Cause I got a Q with a extension on it in the middle. So it looks like I'm playing on a little mini table. Yep. So about what I figured would happen. Gosh, I always get on the rail. It's like, how do you? Uh, Guess I gotta 
<laughs> yeah, you can see my disappointment. I'm like, God dang it. Am I always on the rail? Probably because <clears throat> I could have used some right spin on that shot and had it come two rails. I mean, that's what a good player would have done. Maybe use a little top right on that shot and come two rails out to the middle. But I could probably do that. I don't know. I've been starting to I've been starting to use the correct English <coughs> more and more. <coughs> uh. Excuse me, I got a tickle in my throat. <coughs> and this one. I think I got an angle on here. Can't I just follow this straight and have it come across? Speed is obviously critical on this one. <clears throat> Don't want to get stuck behind the nine. This isn't an easy shot. I mean, this is so easy to miss. I usually like have a tendency to overcut these. This exact shot comes up all the time. Pretty good. Ooh, ooh. Barely. I could have hit that a little softer. I think I'm good. Looking at it, I'm like, hmm. What am I thinking here? How do I get this? Well, just a little. Right hand English on this one. <clears throat> I think I got some angle on it. Like at least, yeah, should be able to get a little angle on this. I think I'm good. I would just, uh, so this problem is this, this is a stretch. I think I'm actually going to get the bridge for this one. Trying to measure it out like... Let's map it out. What's going to happen? It's going to go this way. Yeah, I'm thinking you don't even... Not even top right, just straight up right. I might be, am I using a little low right? Just straight up right hand English. Yeah, I'm using low right. Let's see here. If you hit it soft, the low right just kind of like slows it down a little bit. Ooh, wow. That's brutal. I mean, we're talking like an inch. If it would have just went an inch further, it would have been like money in the bank. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that spot, it's like, God, just hit it a little harder. God, I mean, even if it goes all the way down to the middle of the table, it's like the ball's a hanger. I'm going to try to cut the heck out of this and see if I can make it anyway. Let's see what happens here. Get the feel of this one. This will be huge. I need this one. There it is. No scratch. All right, nice. There it is.